Morning to you, Kat. More misery for Arsenal. Is it it's the worst ever start to a season, isn't it? Worst ever start to the season in 45 years, you know, not just a Premier League season. <laughs> so it's pretty bad. And I was reading Mikel Arteta's um, the transcript of his post-match interview and he was asked, where does this defeat leave them? And his answer was, in a worse position. I thought that uh, pretty right. much sums up. Yes. <laughs> yes. In Thank a worse you, Mikel. position. A 1 0 defeat at home to Burnley perfectly demonstrated Arsenal's problems this season. Rangers captain James Tavernier is having an outstanding season. He was on the score sheet again. They beat Dundee United 2 1 to stay 13 points clear at the top of the Scottish Premiership. Tavernier has been involved in. Manchester United still unbeaten in the Women's Super League. Nine games in, they beat Reading 2 1. Exeter showed no mercy as they began their defence of Rugby Union's European Champions Cup. They beat Glasgow Warriors 42-0. Fans were back in the stadium for the first time and they saw their team score six. Hamilton said he was destroyed after the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, the final race of the season. He finished third, but he was still suffering from the after effects of coronavirus. Red Bulls match... Okay. Ronnie O'Sullivan said he had no complaints after being well beaten by Mark Selby in the final of the Scottish Open. There's always been a bit of need on her to do it. She is a steely contender. I watched her win the Open last year uh, at Woburn. She's awesome. Weather doesn't look great, though. No, but, <laughs> you know, hopefully it'll get better today. And Lee Westwood, wasn't that it's fantastic? It's an amazing achievement, that. For, you know, oldest man to win the Order of Merit and yeah. um, still going strong at 47. And at the time, the only man on tour to have uh, world ranking the same as his age. 47 in the world, 47 that stat, in the That's stats of the week already. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for that, Kat. <laughs> now, um, it was not a great night last night for Arsenal, but a brilliant night for Burnley. I know, we're kind of forgetting Burnley in all of this, aren't they? Huge celebrations for Burnley fans, but I get the feeling that Arsenal fans aren't enjoying relaxing Sunday nights very frequently <laughs> at the moment. It's only four <laughs> wins and a draw in 12 games. Their worst start to a top flight season in 45 years. Morning everyone, a 1-0 defeat at home to Burnley perfectly demonstrated Arsenal's problems. Early in the second half, Spurs at the top. The gap between Rangers and Celtic at the top of the Scottish Premiership is still 13 points. That's after they both won yesterday. Celtic beat Kilmarnock 2-0 and Rangers captain James, who's his caddy. What a tour de force they, those two are. Incredible. Incredible. Although I saw um, Matt Fitzpatrick had a putt on the 17th green of about five feet, which he had to hold, and he got it. And then he had a putt on the... the you saw that 18th one of about three feet. I can, I, I can feel my hand shaking watching him <laughs> I don't know. It. I mean, I just lie down in the fetal <laughs> position on the green. I just can't. I, I don't can't. know. Honestly, I do not know how they hold too it together. Too much pressure. Exactly. Too just much. It's too, too hard. Too much pressure. That's why they practice, I suppose, so much. Thanks very much for that, No Kat. problem. Now, uh, Christmas...